Jeff Smith from Middletown Animal Hospital, and this is the case of B.J. Burton. There you go. Oh, very good. It was an interesting case because it was a young dog. It was not uh, obviously laying a little bit off in the front end, and obviously uh, not demonstrating which joint was painful. on this image the increased thermal gradient uh, around the right elbow and then if I switch you over to the uh, uh, left elbow you can see much less of a thermal gradient on that image. When we were uh, looking at BJ and palpating his joints um, he wasn't showing us any of the symptoms of uh, joint dysfunction that we normally expect. So we usually look for the crepe in each joint. Crepe is a uh, range of motion, effusion, uh, pain, or instability. And um, none of those things were highly evident. There was a little bit of a crepe at the uh, far range of the end of motion, but that was easier to detect once we really knew the problem was in the elbow. So the uh, digitherm told us, hey, let's take some x-rays of those elbows. It doesn't tell us what's wrong there, it just in a dog that's not that limp, we're like, oh, well, the elbow's where we need to look. And then when we look at the okay, x-ray, then we can actually see uh, what the pathology is underneath. And see what we see there, and uh, obviously uh, the problem was revealed um, to be an ununited and needle uh, process along with some degenerative joint disease. In a dog like him that's not showing the lameness very much, it's really helpful instead of is it the shoulder, is it the elbow, is it yeah, the wrist? Yeah, because we thought it was always a way up here, right. okay? Yeah. And you rub around it and never bothers it. Yeah. Never bothers it.